What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you a very special bi-week event uh, put on by the administrative staff within the CWL. And what this is, is it's called the CWL Olympics, where everybody is basically representing their country. We have the United States. Uh, that's the clan. This is USA, USA, USA versus America All-Stars. This is basically the, the clan reward is uh, the people representing North America. We represented the United States of America. We have uh, China. We have a couple European clans. There's actually two uh, USA clans. Uh, there's a clan representing Australia, so on and so forth. But it is for the first time ever uh, there's been something like this. And uh, we, we actually got the victory, 131 to 130. So USA starting off uh, 1-0 and in this bi-week event. And I have a lot of uh, attacks to show you guys. A total of, what, we got four 10v10s. We got two Tahoe 9s uh, attacks I'm going to show you guys. And two 11v11 triples. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump into the action. Uh, while I finish telling you guys about the event. And it's going to be going through the rest of this week, through the weekend. I'm not even exactly sure exactly how. Uh, I mean, I imagine there's going to be, what, quarterfinals, semifinals, and then finals. The wars, I believe, I'm not mistaken, might be trickling into um, next week. If not, yeah, the finals would be this week. But there, yeah, but there's everyone's doing three wars, and then by, and after you do three wars, they eliminate the people that did not make it, and that's how the playoffs will go ahead and start. But it's really, really fun, a way for people to represent their country, and of course, have fun playing Clash. And just to give you guys a breakdown of what happened in this war, it was literally neck and neck. It's amazing. I don't know if it has to do with the update or what exactly it is, but it just seems like every single war lately is just neck and neck i mean to the very end this one was no exception each side picking up uh 10 10 v 10 three stars we had two 11 v 11s um while uh, america all stars only had one and that alone was the difference of uh the one star difference so very very clutch and the last two attacks, we were both, uh, what was it? We were both 89 out of 90, each with one attack remaining, both those being 11. We had to dip 110 uh, to get the three star. They had to go ahead and get an 11 v 11 because they had already cleared the tens and they did not do so. So we got the victory, very, very clutch. I got a lot of interesting attacks uh, I had to share with you guys. I mean, 10, 10 v 10s, that's pretty huge. And considering the majority of the people in our clan have never, there's a couple people, but the majority of people have not warred with one another. Uh, so it was really interesting. You know, we had pe you know, uh, people on voice that have never voiced uh, with each other before, you know, planning in the Discord servers uh, and a lot, of course, on the in-game chat. Uh, but yeah, it's really nice to have everybody come together and they kind of match everybody within the same time zone. So everyone's kind of on at the same time uh but that was a beautiful beautiful hit right there who i'm sorry who the that was by sb smash uh if you guys if you guys missed it he went ahead and dropped that max cc golem and went ahead and dropped a couple healers on it uh and then you know basically broke the defensive ring send in the hogs go ahead and watch the replay uh while i was babbling but we'll go ahead and check out this hit by uh by van bro Gonna be gonna be doing a beautiful queen charge lolo and wait until the very end you guys will absolutely love it so again uh four 10 v 10s i'll be sharing with you guys and two 11 v 11 triples big shout out to everybody representing uh the united states and like i said in the beginning of the video because there are so many people in the u.s that signed up they actually had to make two uh clans representing the united states um Possibly if they make it. I know they lost their first war against Australia uh, by one star. Again, a very, very close war. Uh, but it'll be interesting if, it both, if both clans, both USA teams make it to the playoffs. Wouldn't that be something? Um, kind of like a civil war right there. But we'll go ahead and focus on the attacks. A lot of good attacks to share with you guys. So we have Queen charging in here at 4 o'clock. That's going to go ahead. You already used one Rage. Second Rage is down, went ahead. 
queen on queen action. His queen's gonna win. Went ahead and dropped down that poison to go ahead and slow down the baby dragon. Charge will continue. Uh, the only defense locked onto his queen is the expo and that cannon, but under rage, even with the king, the enemy king beating on her, uh, goes ahead and manages to survive. Got within a, a, a millimeter of her health, went ahead, popped ability, took out king, and she is now back up to full health. But here is gonna be the flight portion starting over on the left-hand side of the base, starting with that max CC golem. And look at this little like runway of defenses. Uh, just gonna pick this base apart defense by defense. Very, very patient with the spell placement. But you basically had a hound tanking each one of those air defenses. And again, just being really, really patient with the loons and with the spells. A couple more loons came in up at the top to go ahead and take out that archer tower. They're gonna collapse on both air defenses, get a nice split. And the only other defense that can do any damage is an archer tower. Queen is still up and he still has a rage and a heal left to deploy, yet all defenses are down. Great base of vacation and Van Bro actually, uh, even uh, he six back this war. This one was fresh, his other attack was clean up, but huge shout to him. Our nines completely rocked it. I don't even know what the stats were, but we had so many scouts. We damn near scouted every single base that we wanted scouted. Uh, but we'll go ahead and get into the 10v10 action. And I want to bring you guys this one. This attack was actually done fresh. Uh, the other three will all be cleanup attacks. But definitely have to bring you guys uh, the fresh 10v10. Despite the way the base um, it is still difficult uh, to do so. But wait till you guys see this funnel. Gollum down, Tesla pops. Uh, and you'll see he's basically, what he wants to do is get his kill squad in this little uh, junction right here. So a couple wizards funneling up at the top, bowlers behind, uh, heroes obviously behind both the golems. Once he took out the cannon and the Tesla, both golems met up on the archer tower, jump spell leading into the core. So you already know this attack is going according to plan. Raid spell down, so we got uh, the heroes both raged up. We got the bowlers raged up. It was a damage CC, went ahead and took that out. And like I said, the jump spell actually led into the core. That's why the king is literally running around inside the core, destroying everything. Bowler's still up. Queen actually ended up walking around, but in his favor, uh, she's actually gonna survive the remainder of the raid and even uh, start cleanup much earlier than he anticipated. And he still has the uh, queen ability. So while he goes ahead and drops down the jump spell, just bringing in his CC hogs on this mortar. So the CC hogs are basically going to be meeting up uh, with the initial deployment of his hogs that were down there at six o'clock. So has one more heal spell left to deploy. He's going to go ahead and drop that over that inferno tower. Again, because this was fresh, we didn't know where the bombs were, uh, but just outside of range of that bomb tower. So the hog, he has so many. Luckily, there were no wizard towers up here at the top or this attack would have been completely different but all these hogs pretty much in the red but with only one point defense left up he had a nice split at the end there we'll go ahead and times this and like i said pretty much swag queen on that raid uh on that raid pretty much used her uh just for cleanup uh so incredible attack by simple 2.0 that was the first 10v10 three star and we'll go ahead and jump up two spots uh, to number 22, Chiefy. You know I love you to death. Uh, Chiefy is one of the reps, or one of the staff. What was it? Staff ad? Uh, yeah, staff. That's actually in the NDL. Big shout to him, but I gotta show this Sui Hero Lalo coming from Zach on the USA side. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this CC... Is this, is this a hound? Yes, this is going to be a hound coming out. Well, Chief, what are you doing? What are you doing running a hound at Town Hall 10? But we'll go ahead and check out uh, this Sui. Uh, pretty much what he's going to be picking up here. He's going to be picking up uh, both air defenses. He's going to break the ring. And clearly with that B slow 40 queen, check this out. Cannon goes down, goes ahead and pops ability. Queen hops the wall. Even if she didn't, he uh, would have easily still been able to snipe her uh, with that queen ability. Level 40 queen, very, very strong, you guys. So as uh, like I said, the defensive ring completely broken. You can already tell his uh, loons are going to be pathing around this base, going counterclockwise, obviously starting over here on the left-hand side to haste, leading into that rage. Nice Mickey Mouse uh, placement of those spells right there. 
still has two more haste a rage and a heal spell left to deploy and here we go nice uh, rage uh, uh, placement of that rage covering both of those expos and the balloons still raged up as they approach that inferno tower followed up uh, by the heal spell uh, all spells have been used, but check this out. It has a haste spell to push all these loons into the remaining defenses. Beautiful, beautiful attack coming from Zack. And of course, he started his cleanup nice and early. And yes, he was running uh, a hound in the CC. Like I said, that was a cleanup hit. We knew there was a hound. So incredible value uh, from that queen just with those two cannons uh, protecting those two air defenses. Got good value uh, Su uh, doing the, the Sui heroes up there at 12. Absolutely loved it. Shout out to Zach. All right, guys, now we're going to jump up one spot. Uh, we have Evan taking on PL Samson. Uh, I mean, this is still, you guys have to understand in this meta, this is still one of the most, this is one of the most strongest attacks at Town Hall 10 right now. Uh, basically, I mean, it can be, it's a toss up between the Shattered Goho or the CB Goho, just depending again on the base. But look at the value. Wait till you guys see the value that he's gonna be picking up from this kill squad. Didn't even need to bring wall breakers. Gonna go ahead and jump right in to where he needs to. Deep rage, pretty much inside the core. Was a damage CC, went ahead and dropped that max poison to go ahead and take that out and also help slow down the heroes as well. But just set a beautiful funnel with just those two golems and those four wizards to kind of lead everything into that, that V junction up there. And Queen is still up, still has ability left. Went ahead and started hogs nice and early on the left hand side. Uh, and these hogs will be going around the base counterclockwise. And look at this queen still doing work, still has ability. Like I said, this attack is so strong right now. Evan showing us how to do the shattered hobo. Uh, goes ahead and pops ability, takes out the that wizard tower. And the other defense that was over on the far hand side didn't even know what it was. Has one more heal spell. Guys, look at this. This was complete carnage. One more heal spell and a poison. Doesn't even... He's swagging all over this base. Um, yeah, beautiful attack by Evan. So we'll go ahead and show you guys uh, one more 10v10. All, again, as you guys know, always saving the best for last. We have none other. Going to be ending on the hut over there at 3 o'clock. Uh, Going to be showing you guys a beautiful attack from Asian and the dude. 10v10 six-pack this war. And another cool thing about this event is uh you know myself included you know I'm, I'm obviously you know i was in the war is the fact that you get to war with people you would n you know never war with if i'm not mistaken agent is a member or or a co-leader uh over in north watchers um so yeah I mean, like i said it's just a cool event uh and you know it, it, it is something a little different than what you know we're used to doing um, so it is always fun, you know, doing these, yeah, uh, you know, these types of wars. I know a, a lot of you guys watching this probably know Lex knows, uh, over from WHF. So he's also in our clan. We guys, I'm telling you, we have an absolute beast clan at the very end of the video. I'll show you guys who we're warring. We already matched. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys who we're warring for round two, but check out this beautiful queen charge. Uh, hog attack aka queen ho uh just funneled the basically started uh this attack off with his king to go ahead and funnel all that trash over on the right hand side went ahead and started queen at six o'clock uh she went ahead and broke or he went ahead and broke in to this compartment right here and used one rage uh it only needed one rage for this charge enemy queen is down enemy cc is down when he went ahead and started his hogs and he's even going to drop the rage on the hogs absolutely loved it went ahead and dropped down to rage just in case he needed it for his queen realized he didn't so why not use the rage spell on your hogs we know that it does work sometimes one more spell left to deploy and there it goes covering uh helping cover that wizard tower and a few of the point defenses inside of the core here his queen ended up going down but check this out, guys. Coming down to the wire, ending on a bomb tower, a wizard tower on an expo. I do not know how he did it. And a bomb. Absolutely incredible. But if you look closely, these hogs somehow are at half health, even going through all of that. Don't know how he did it. 
Uh, but Agent getting the job done, big shout out to him. Like I said, he did get a 10v10 six pack and we needed every single 10v10 possible. Um, and we had 10. Uh, for those of you guys wondering, I also had a 10v10 three star. I did. I went ahead and knocked out a Falcon. Got it, uh, Got the 10v10. We won't. We won't go ahead and show that. We want to show love to all the other clan members representing the USA. So we'll go ahead and get into the 11 v 11. We got two 11 v 11s to show you guys before we wrap up the video and show you guys what country we are warring next. Uh, but we're gonna have Barbarian Horde. Uh, gonna be taking on Vale right here, or he's gonna be doing uh, that attack we're seeing very, uh, you know, it's very, very common, whether it's anti two, whether if it's uh, anti three setups. This attack, this queen charge uh, leading into a bitch attack, is very, very strong, you guys. So went ahead and broke in uh, up here at about 9 30, where he has the warden helping out with his queen. And uh, you guys will see right here, his kill squad's gonna come in over here by this lab. They're all gonna kind of meet up. Uh, one weakness to this base is the ITs. If these ITs were on single target, there's no way that this charge would have been possible. We probably would have had to figure out how to do something else, maybe like a Lalo. But definitely taking advantage of those uh, Inferno Towers on multi-target. But here comes the kill squad. Gonna go ahead and drop that rage. Had a couple more wall breakers to go ahead and beat through that wall. And even check this out. Nice touch with the healer helping out with this uh, with this main push. And they're pretty much, with, with this being a ring base, there's pretty much nothing to slow down this kill squad, you guys. Uh, Warden went ahead and peeled off of the queen. He is now with this kill squad and this thing will not end. Because there's no walls, to stop they're just pretty much not go i mean look at this all this is going to be gone in 30 seconds you guys we'll go ahead and times this it was complete carnage still has queen ability i uh, had a baby dragon just to help out pretty much swagged it barbarian horde getting it done huge shout out to him like i said we needed every single three star possible in this war i don't even know the breakdown what was it six i think it was a 618 breakdown this was a 45 v uh 45 now we'll go ahead and check out this beautiful attack uh, coming from exit and this is going to be i don't know if this is the first one ever no it's not no it's definitely not the first one ever but it's definitely rare uh exit going to be doing uh what we're calling the skelly donut on this base guys it's complete madness as you guys see there's zero splash inside of this core uh and while he's basically going to be uh letting his heroes work. Wait till you guys see what these six uh, skelly spells and this one rage do to this core. So again, King Funneling uh, went ahead and dropped down those wall breakers as all of the defenses were distracted on him. Queen is going to go ahead and pretty much take out this entire compartment down here. Going to get tons and tons of value uh, uh, before he goes ahead and starts uh, the skelly donut portion. Uh, Queen's going to go ahead and take out that mortar and check that out. Wait for even redirects. There it goes. Gonna get the air defense. And he's gonna go ahead and get that geared up archer tower. So broke the ring. Here it goes. Look at this rage. Uh, and six skeleton spells. He's gonna get the queen. He's gonna get the CC. He's going to get the freaking eagle artillery. I don't know how he does it. Uh, we even missed some of the Lalo, but that's okay. Starting over here on the right hand side. And notice he went ahead and used the warden uh, behind the flight portion. And pretty much going to be wrecking the rest of this base with just haste spells you guys uh bringing a total of uh, i think five uh on the flight portion uh flight portion gonna be very very patient uh with this deployment this guy still has 13 loons left to deploy and only this many defenses left up uh so he's gonna go ahead and drop those on the bottom he's gonna uh send in a few on the tesla and uh also that archer tower there they go and he has all kinds of pups, all kinds of minions also helping out. Still has two more haste spells left to deploy. Definitely, that's what you call exposing a weakness in a base. Not having any splash inside that core. The incredible value. When you take out key, uh, Queen, CC, and a freaking Eagle Artillery uh, with just those spells, tons and tons of value. Huge shout out to Exit. Getting it done, again, uh, 131 to uh, 130 was the final and this is the current war uh usa versus team russia uh, i want to wish them best of luck in this war going to be a lot of fun 
And it's going to be, for us in America, it's going to be starting at like 2 or 3 in the morning. Uh, going to be absolute madness. Uh, uh, but yeah, definitely stay tuned for the recap of our war against Team Russia. Maybe I'll have enough time to stream, not too sure. But that is going to do it for the video, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Wish us the best of luck down in the comment section below. This is the CWL Olympics uh, bi-week event. If you guys liked it, uh, make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And any comments, questions, or concerns down in the comment section below. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS. And I'll see you in the very next video.